All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about pulmonary and bronchopulmonary circulation. So first, let's talk about pulmonary circulation. And this is going to be how blood moves from the right ventricle into the left atrium and supply blood to the lungs, specifically the alveolar tissue of the lungs. So in the right ventricle, we have deoxygenated blood. And this deoxygenated blood is going to enter the pulmonary artery. So enter the pulmonary artery, deoxygenated blood is blue. And then from the pulmonary artery, it's going to meet with the alve alveolar capillaries of the lung, participate in gas exchange, and then create oxygenated blood in the pulmonary vein. And from the pulmonary vein, this oxygenated blood is going to move into the left atrium. And so that's gonna be our pulmonary circulation. Our bronchopulmonary circulation is um, a little different. So this is going to be how blood moves from the left ventricle to the left atria mostly. However, there's going to be some blood which moves into the right atrium from the left ventricle. So remember, inside of the left ventricle, we are going to be pushing oxygenated blood away from the lungs and into our systemic tissues during systole. So it's going to move through the aorta and supply our systemic tissues that are not the lungs. However, there is one exception and that is going to be the bronchial artery, which is a branch off of the aorta. And the bronchial artery is important because it supplies the non-alveolar tissue of the lung with oxygen. So a majority of this bronchial um, artery is going to end up, a majority of the blood of this bronchial artery is going to end up uh, participating in gas exchange. So it's gonna go into the arterioles and then the capillaries and ultimately be um, have deoxygenated blood, which feeds into the bronchial vein. And this bronchial vein is going to mix with the pulmonary vein. And remember, the pulmonary vein has oxygenated blood and return to the left atrium. So that's why it's mostly blood to the left atrium. However, some of this venous blood from the bronchial vein can actually feed into the azygous vein. And then this blood will feed into the right atrium. So that's why some of this blood is actually going to enter the right atrium as well.